Welcome to the Team Wild Academy, the home of how to's, help, and the best advice from the world of hunting. Team Wild Academy is a show that can help hunters of all abilities up their game at every level and build their knowledge base in all aspects of hunting and outdoor pursuits, from archery to ammunition, rifle technique to building high seas. Our first episode from the Team Wild Academy follows on from our hugely successful Build Your Bow series as we take a trip down to Merlin Archery to see how to build and fletch arrows. Right, we're going to make up some arrows for bow hunting purposes. Uh, the shafts can be made of a, a number of different things. The shaft is the bit without the point and without the knocking. Um, this particular one that we're using today is uh, called an FMJ. It's got a carbon inner tube and an aluminium outer core. You'll also get arrows made out of all carbon and all aluminium. And arrows for target tournaments are made the other way around with the aluminium in the middle. Uh, these particular ones also come fitted with a knock pre-installed so they can clip straight to the string of the arrow of the bow. Uh, right, I'm going to fletch them up first. They go into the fletching jig, so the knock falls into the string shaped slot and sits in the jig like so. The fletching that we're going to use is then placed inside the clamp and positioned into the position we want it. In this instance, at the far end of the clamp, we're then going to put a bead of super glue onto the uh, that chink, giving an even coverage. The fletching then attaches to the magnetic clamp and just slides down onto the arrow. And then repeat the process however many you need to make. We're now on to the second fletching of the, the first arrow. So we lift the clamp and remove it from the arrow. We rotate the jig until it clicks, moving us into our second position. And there we go, our first finished fletched arrow. If you look down, you'll see the fletchings are actually off at an angle. This is in, to encourage spin, so the arrow will rotate as it flies through the air. This is particularly important when you're shooting with broadheads, because that increases the stability of the arrow when you're shooting. Right, the next job is to uh, cut and pile them. All right, we're going to cut the saw, cut the arrow down now for Ian. Um, for his length. His arms is 31 inches, so we've, we've set this block at the end here to 31. On the chart. The arrow then has a recess in here that fits the knock in and it can spin without moving. Right, the next task is to put the, uh, the point in the front of the arrow. This is a practice point that you'd use for practicing, which can then be replaced by broadhead at a later time. Uh, in this variety of arrow, there's a, an aluminium insert which actually goes fully inside the arrow. Hidden insert technology. To put this in, we use a, an applicator tool. To glue them in, just using normal hot melt glue. Put a bit of hot melt on the, the insert itself. The insert then pushes into the arrow. It almost disappears. Then we need to get rid of the excess glue. Just rub that off with your finger. And then using the, the tool that's provided with them, just pushes down until it uh, stops. 
give that a second to uh, cool down. And so this is a, a practice point, which is the same weight as the broadhead that we're going to use, and that then just screws into the shaft, like so, and can be easily unscrewed to fit a broadhead later. Tune in next week to the Team World Academy to see how to paper tune your bow. If you haven't seen the previous episodes in the Build Your Bow series, click on the links. Subscribe to Team Wild TV for our phenomenal lineup of new shows for 2013 and enjoy the best hunting videos on YouTube.